Well, hello and welcome back. <laughs> what a start. <laughs> That's the dancing, prancing, ochin Crisiviala booth, the most beautiful woman in the world. Hello, everybody. How nice to see you again and again. And again, what do you think of that outfit, Dayman? New top. I hope you like my darling and all my darlings. I hope that you all like it. And if not, doesn't matter. Next time you will like it. I think the pants, the trousers are absolutely spectacular. There's something very, very special about them. I like the pleated top. I think your jupper looks absolutely spectacular. And I like the way the belt hangs, that's for sure. My goodness, Mr. Paul. You're using the words that nobody else understands. Good for you. Good for me. Right, come on, Grisivi. Where are we? That's what you're curious to know. Chuck Norris. Norris. And, of course, Jackie Chan it's is coming. coming to town next very week. Soon. Or very soon, very is he? Soon. Right, this is the downtown Kedopathos Skywalk. And we are going to storm it yet again. So this is the start of the little area known as the Skywalk. And it's an area that's been constructed out of steel. There's a pathway, as you can see, and there's some railings. And at night time, to be honest, it does light up quite well as well. And it allows you to curve round over the road that links the Paphos Mall to the downtown Kedah Paphos Harbour area. There she goes again. She's dancing and twiddling and wiggling the rear end as usual. Hopefully it's entertaining. But anyway back to the skywalk it's this walking platform that takes you from ground level over the main road and you get to get a spectacular view as you pan round towards the right and you get to see some special special things like this hotel that's coming up now this is the roman hotel which well it's based on an old archaeological site apparently originally and then a lot of it has got a fake facade but it is a very very nice hotel indeed at the moment by the way it's in a little bit of a well, financial dispute or something like that and it's temporarily in trouble but we're pretty sure that it'll come back kicking into life towards the end of the summer season when someone takes it over so stick with us as we transcend across the Paphos skywalk we haven't been for a while Yes, we haven't been here for a while and uh, always remember that here the view is to die for, especially today when the clouds are so attractive for it's all the It's a funny people. sky, isn't it, to be honest? As you look up towards the mountains, as you can see, well, it's looking a little bit grey. And if you're curious to know what the temperature is, perhaps if your name is Miss Dawn, you've got a husband called Mr. Sean, and you've got a cat called Miss Daisy, and perhaps a dog called Bobo. The temperature today is only 18 degrees. Second week of March, and only 18 degrees. But don't worry, slowly but surely, the temperature is going to ramp up. And I promise you, by the middle of April, it'll be absolutely spectacular. Let's stop here for a second. That's Grisivi, the most beautiful woman in the world, prancing and pirouetting as usual. And that is the road that takes you down to Kedapapas Harbour area. Feast your eyes and digest. We've just come up this part. If you look carefully now, you can see the lighthouse. That's out on the lighthouse beach. That is the spectacality of the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. And this is, well, one section of the Roman Hotel. There's a further section over there. And this is a residential apartment complex just to our left at the moment. Shall we keep going, Grisivi? Yes, of course, Mr. Paul. And I understand around this area, some buildings are a little bit old, little bit scruffy, but this is also called history. It is, yes. At the end of the day, you have to have old buildings, some run-down buildings to give you a bit of culture, that's for sure. No one actually else wants to live in a place called Milton Keynes with fake cows without trying to insult anybody who may be a family member that, of course, lives in Milton Keynes. So, what's coming up now? That is the Paphos Mall that you can just see to the left there. That's the Paphos Mall roundabout. That's the Bogoda Garden Centre just over the road. You can see there's some big crayons up in the sky and there's some big digging going over there. They're building some apartment complexes, by the way. And the sun 
is coming out to play. Now, this is the downtown Cater Patfoss Skywalk, and I suggest you come and walk it once while you're here on your holidays, because there is a rumor that next year they're gonna put some turnstiles up, and that means that they're gonna start charging. So if you're coming to Paphos this season, why not go and do it now while it is still free? And I'm pretty sure now you may have noticed that some of the clouds have vanished. And as I've just said, the sun has come out to play. So feast your eyes and digest on the blueness of the sky, because that's one thing that is for sure in downtown Paphos, the sky is normally blue. The sea, I promise you, is pretty blue. Mr. Paul, well, he's dressed head to toe in blue, so all that's actually missing is... All he's missing is you. So get yourself on a big bird or a canoe and start paddling like crazy, because we all are crazily waiting just for you. And I would like you to show that very rocks, Mr. Paul. These are the rocks. This is an archaeological site now, which you can go in through another entrance, and you can join the Skywalk right at the top. There's a spectacular viewing platform at the end of the Skywalk, and some spectacular views across the area. Whether you're looking back down towards the Kedopathos Harbour area, or whether you're looking down along the Tomb of the Kings Avenue, which of course is now just coming up, that's the big shiny building known as the Tomb of the Kings Avenue Mall. And of course, spectacular views up into the hills and past the old town, all the way up to Tassada and all the way up to Armu and of course across Konya Mountain. So let's keep going up the Skywalk. Now, people have asked, can we come on here with a push chair? Yes, you can. Could you come up here with a wheelchair? Yes, of course you could. There's a slight incline, so I suggest that you do have some good shoes if you are going to be pushing something, but the grip is pretty good. Yeah, don't come with the high heels, ladies. Just it. But uh, as long as you don't come with the high heels, because uh, if you show the floor... Yes, yeah, so if we actually show you the floor. Of, uh, so this is, must be dangerous. So perhaps if you were coming up, up here after a night out and you had high heels on, perhaps not the greatest of attire. We suggest you wear something like what Miss Archie Grisivi Alabouf is wearing, and we call it sport chic. And here we go, the dancing Chachochka girl is at it again. But I must say, Grisivi, I really, really do like those trousers. I think they're absolutely beautiful. I know you've got a pair in black, very similar as well, haven't we? I've got pair in black, I've got pair in blue, I've got pair in grey, I've got pair in uh, cherry colour, and now I don't know what I've got. Please, please feel sorry for me. You have to understand that somehow that we have to fund this channel. So, if <laughs> you would like to help us continue on our quest, why not go through to our About page where you can consider to buy us a coffee or two. And we say thanks very, very much indeed. Most of the times I just pop your money into the benzene tank, which of course is liquid petrol, and we drive around and make special, special videos for you. Hopefully now you're getting a great, great view. And I'm sure that you can see most of the clouds have cleared, and that is certainly a blue, blue sky. We're gonna keep going. And as you can see, there's a lot of people up there. That is the viewing point which allows us to look down across the blue, blue Mediterranean Sea, right across the Cape of Paphos Harbour. So stick with us until we get to that very, very end. Grisini? You know, always in this area, I was scared of snakes because in May, in Cyprus, the husband uh, snake tries to find his wife and they are trying to play the sexual games together. That's the big waggling but, uh, finger of Dayman. But uh, listen, it's life of the snake. And here it's plenty, especially in these fields and on the little rocks. Then, then they can disappear uh, on, the, on the color of... Uh, well, they rocks. get lost, don't they, they in all lost. the weeds and the, the wheat and things that are around. Now, a bit of off-roading. 
the path of Skywalk has just ended and now we go off road. Now, I don't really understand why they didn't continue with a nice platform. Perhaps that's going to come in the future. Who knows? Some of the mayor's ideas are wonderful ideas and some of them, shall we say, are not quite so wonderful. You know, the idea of digging up the half of Pathos all at the same time just before the summer season, perhaps not the greatest of ideas, but with the greatest of intentions. When it's all finished, we promise you, Pathos is going to come back kicking and licking far, far better than it has ever been before. It's a great, great holiday destination. So please bear with us for a little bit longer and we promise you that Pathos will be right up at the very, very top. It's a great, great place to come. Whether you're coming for a weekend, a fortnight, or perhaps even the rest of your life. Let's go and have a look, and we're going to allow you to feast your eyes and digest the beauty and the spectacularity of the views down towards the downtown Cato Pathos Harbour area and beyond. Have a look at that. And as you can see, that sun, well, it's beating down. It's glistening down. There's a lighthouse for the photograph picture. Absolutely spectacular. And on top of all of that, Miss Ochin, Grisivia Le Bouf. You know, when I'm standing on this luxury, luxury uh, point of view, I think that whole world was presented just to us. And if you want something more, you can't get something more because here it opens such a luxury view to, towards all these areas of Paphos and it's amazing, the view to die for. It is indeed. So feast your eyes and digest. That's the lighthouse on Lighthouse Beach. As we come round there's a nice little walkway from there all the way into the downtown Cato Paphos Harbour area. It'll take you around about 20 to 30 minutes. This is the area to the rear of the promenade, and that is the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. I'm going to say thanks for watching, and of course, if you do like what you see, why not hit the like, click subscribe, and perhaps come back for that little bit more of our madness.